Okay, so in the last one, we actually started working with web views, and one of the things we did not cover was from client to the web view. So let's go ahead and cover how that event specifically works. So in order to emit an event to the web view, we actually need to do web view emit. Now we need to decide on something that we're going to send to this web view so that we can display it to the user. So we're gonna go look at the alt via wiki, which we actually have open over here. And we're gonna head into the player category. So if we go to client side, actually, we're gonna see if we can get the player's name from client side. If we go down here, it looks like we do have access to name. So if we do player.name, we should have access to it. Or player dot or alt player local dot name. Um, so we're gonna do that. So we're gonna emit the player's name to the web view. And in order to do that, we need to emit to it. So let's call it display name. All right, and then we're gonna do alt player local name. Because this is how we fetch on the client side, the local player, and then this is how we get their name. So now that we have this, let's go take this event specifically that we are now emitting. So this is being emitted the moment we load the web page, okay? So if we head over into app.js, we need to add some kind of event to handle this for us. So we're gonna do if alt in window, and then we're gonna display that to the user. So if we do, um, well, we need to figure out where we're gonna put it. So let's just go up here. We'll put uh, we'll put something at the top that says player name, and we'll just assign it to that. So if we do alt on, paste our event, display colon name. And there's two ways that we can handle this. We can either do it like this, or we could do it the traditional way, like we were doing it in the other ones. And we're just gonna call this display name. And then we could pop that function in right here, which I think is a lot cleaner and easier to understand what's happening. This goes to here. <laughs> so we're passing that one argument inside of here, and then we're gonna do player name equals name. So we're just gonna assign it to that. Uh, and then we wanna write to the document what the player's name is going to be. Um, and we're going to actually do an else here as well, so we can kind of mock this. And we're going to mock it by doing, uh, we're just going to throw that in there. So we're going to use the name Johnny Ringo. And then we can just write to the document, document, uh, let's see, I think it's just write. And then we can just put the name in there. So we have the web page opened up over here. So we're just gonna refresh it. And as you can see, we got Johnny Ringo. So now if we go in game and we load this page, we should actually get the player's current name. So let's reconnect. Now let's see if it appends it to the document for us. So if we do load page, as you can see, we got hello world, but unfortunately we did not get the player's name which is supposed to be stuck. So let's do a little bit of investigation as to why that did not happen. My guess, and this is a pretty common issue that we have, is that we're emitting this too early. This is happening too early for the game to take it into account. So there's two ways that we can fix this. One of them is to set this into a timeout. So after the page is loaded, we emit this a little bit later. The other option, which I think is a lot better, is we take the information that we have here for this alt in window, and we put it down here, okay? And then we add an additional event. So after alt on, we add alt emit ready, okay? So we're gonna make an additional event, and we're gonna put that right into our client side for when it loads. So when it's ready, we do web view on ready, and then we're just gonna make a function called ready. So function ready, and then we can emit the name when it's ready, just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and try that again. 
and we're going to see if that'll load for us. So this is a pretty common uh, format that we use pretty much all the time. I use it consistently. So whenever your page loads, add something for ready. So when you want to populate it with data, have that function basically do a callback to the web page with all the information that you need for that instance. So in this case, we're just getting the player's name. So let's do load page. And as you can see, we have stuck right at the top, which is exactly what we wanted. So now that we have a basic understanding of what just happened, we can build on this. This is the foundation of our web view. This is how we begin working with the more complicated stuff, such as um, view, react, or preact. In this course, we're actually going to be using preact because that's the one that I'm most comfortable with, and it's the most lightweight framework that we can use. So don't get too intimidated in these next ones because we're about to jump into some incredibly interesting frameworks. So see you in the next course.